Hey guys, it's me, Darla. I'm going to talk about women's rights, which is always political. We know this. But I wanted to talk about the 1864 law put into effect in Arizona that bans all abortions except for the life of the mother. I'm surprised they have that one in there because we don't even have that in there for women. It's been in the news the women had to flee their state to save their own life because their state wouldn't give abortion. So I'm really surprised that was in there at all. You know, it's crazy because it almost seems like the person, the guy that wrote this and put it on the books was being vindicted because there's an exception for the life of the mother. So they recognize that. No exception for incest, no exception for rape. And if it's incest, it's still rape. It's just a relative that's raping you. They don't even, they say, no, if you get pregnant by a rapist, that's on you. You got to have the baby. Now you got to understand in 1864, for a female to get married, she only had to be 10 years old. She can get married at 10. Can you imagine? You think about that for a minute. You got to really let it soak in. 10 years old. 10 years old. Think about that. So that's why they don't have any exception for rape or incest because they're doing it all the time. It doesn't matter if she was raped and who raped her. It's a sad day in our history. I was so happy when we had birth control. I mean, the idea that we could have sex freely and enjoy sex without having, you know, the fear of getting pregnant. It kills me because their, their argument is always pro-life. And I call BS on that. Because if you're pro-choice, you could be pro-life. You have choices. They act like pro-choice isn't for our life. It is. We choose what we want done to us for our life. I mean, don't you understand that? This is our life. It's not your life. It's our life. We want the best for our life. We want choices. You know, I'm 72 years old. And in all my years, I was a military wife. So I traveled and met a lot of women. I only met two women that actually had an abortion. Two women. So it's not like it's a common ass thing that goes on constantly. It's not. It's all about choices. And being pro-choice, you could choose to have five, six, seven kids if you want, or you could choose to have no kids if you wanted. That's what's so great about pro-choice. You could do either or. We're not Right now, MAGA is making us, regardless of how we get pregnant, to take that baby to full term, regardless of anything. You know, are you going to punish the men that jack off in a napkin and throw it down the toilet? Is that all the babies they're throwing away? They should be in trouble for doing that. That don't even make sense to say, oh, we got to have a baby regardless, regardless. I think we need to think of the future of all these girls that are being born today that may have complications in their pregnancies later on in life. So, so many things can go wrong with a pregnancy. It's not like all pregnancies are 100% great. But I just want to say, we need to really fight these people. This is BS. This is such BS. And anybody that says there's, they're for pro-life, that they would stop this. It seems like they always want to, oh, put us in jail. And now they're saying, oh, they should, be, they should be put to death if they have an abortion. Throw them in jail. Throw them in prison. Put them to death. I mean, that's all I ever hear. To me, abortion is just another excuse for these MAGA men. Now we call them MAGA. That's what they want to be called. Just an excuse for them to put us in jail or kill us. I don't understand it. You know, so, some woman, I can't remember who it was, she made this statement, and I thought it was really powerful. She says, women are half the population, but we birth the whole population. And that's true. People should recognize that. A lot of babies. We have a lot of babies. It's a lot of work, you know, having babies, especially if you have a back-to-back. -back. You know, it's, it's hard on your body. It's hard on your mind. 
like I said, you know, women could have as many kids as they want. But you got to realize that the world is overpopulated right now. I mean, we're fighting for water. Here in Nevada, we have water restrictions that we have certain days at a certain amount of time to water flowers or plants or your garden, vegetable garden. I just can't go out there freely watering like, because you'll get fined. We're fighting for water. But yet these women think it's okay to have six, seven, eight kids, four, five. If you want to pass on your gene, have a baby. If you want to do something about the world, then don't have any babies. We got a long way to go before the population starts dwindling down. I, I don't know. It's a sad day for women when a state like Arizona, they're going to put a law on the books from 1864. We're going back in time. Let's have it where women can plan their birth of a child. We can plan it based on the economy, based on the food, water, housing. So to me, they have no good argument. They want women to have babies regardless of who the daddy is or how they got pregnant they're like we don't care about you so for for them to say they're pro-life they're not because if they were pro-life they would think about that woman and they would think very hard about her being raped by a family member or a stranger and the trauma she had to go through and being pregnant and having to carry and seeing that baby all the time a reminder of the traumatic rape you had. What kind of punishment is that? What What is that? I mean, what did we do to the MAGA people, MAGA men, that you want to throw us in jail or anybody that helps us throw us in jail? Give me a break. You guys are nothing. You guys are sicko. I, I think that's just a sick group of people, well, I say people because there are women that agree with these dumbass men. They're like, oh, yes. And I'm thinking, really? You should be for pro-choice. You should say, my my sister over there, she wants abortion, but I don't. So I'm going to have babies. She's going to abort them. And go on with your life. Why do you have to constantly make it that we all have to abide by your rule? It's not like that. So I tell the women of Arizona, you, if you're pregnant now or plan to get pregnant in the future, and this is still on the books, you need to really pay attention to yourself. If you don't want to have kids, you better take all the precautions you can not to have a baby because nobody's going to help you. If you end up pregnant, you can't get an abortion. They're not going to help you. If you're, anything goes wrong, now Arizona lets you abort if it could have killed the mother. Other states don't do that. They have no exception. I mean, we, we got women that ran from their state because their life was in de danger of being pregnant and they had to go to another state and get abortion. And then, you know, they wonder why, you know, to go to the 70s and be so happy with stuff going on that I could enjoy sex without being pregnant and live my life. Women are not baby meals. I keep saying that. We are not baby mills, even though they keep trying to make us into baby mills. They want to marry us young so we can have babies starting off young. And without any kind of protection, she'll probably have babies back to back. She'll probably end up dying from it because your body needs to heal from having babies. Look, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm, I'm pretty upset about this whole Arizona thing. When we fought all this time to get children's rights, women's rights, civil rights, housing rights, education rights, medical rights. And we fought for it. And now you guys are saying, oh no, we're going to go back to 160 years because ugh, we don't like these laws. We're going to go back in time. I worry about all the women in Arizona, all the trauma they're going to have to go through at a pregnancy. It should be a happy time. Not be worried that something goes wrong and you got to say, well, I got to save money for a baby crib, but I also got to save money in case I need an abortion. And what state can I go to? I mean, you're going to have to set up a lot of stuff in case. Because when, when something goes wrong in a pre pregnancy, it just goes wrong. You need to be prepared for that. So not only are you saving up for a pregnancy, you need to save up for an abortion. Because you never know when you may need one. 
Your life may depend on it. And you may have to run to another state to do it. The way it's going, these states are just stopping women. They want to have the whole country like that. And we can't allow that. We cannot allow them to stomp on our medical procedures and tell us that we are wrong. No, you're wrong in stopping us. You are dead wrong. Women will prevail and we will go on into the future. I know a lot of people don't like my thoughts on abortion. They say nobody wants to hear it, but I think we need to hear it. Women and men alike need to hear it, need to hear what women go through. This is our body. Why should you tell me what I should do with my body? Until next time, ladies, I just hope everything goes smoothly. So I'll leave it here. Peace, love to all the women out there bearing children, and peace and love to all the women who refuse to bear children. Peace to all you guys. All right, I'll see you later, alligator. Bye.